Sometimes ancient remedies are the best, even if they make you a little squeamish. We're talking about maggots, folks. They are being used again for treatment. Strange but true. Our Sherman Chow shows us how these slimy creatures are saving lives, limbs, and more. On the Cahill Farm out in Brazoria County, it is another day. Owner Randy Harang is prepping the fields to bale hay. For the 59-year-old, though, it is not just business as usual. I had an infection on my foot that popped up overnight. In July, the rancher and farmer learned two things. He is diabetic and... You're going to have to amputate your toe and part of your foot. The battle now was to save the rest of his foot. Hi, Mr. Ang. How are you? How are you doing, Doc? At Houston right. Methodist Sugarland, Dr. Doing Nicholas Desai decided to try an ancient therapy, fly larvae or maggots, in a new package. This is a form of biodebridement or biosurgery. The maggots eat the diseased tissue, exposing healthy tissue. Biomond grows the flies, harvests their eggs, sterilizes everything, then packages the larvae in a special net where they can work contained. These bio bags were applied like bandages onto Randy's foot. Just four days later, Randy had a skin graft. With conventional therapy? That would have been almost 72 plus days. The financial savings are dramatic. The bio bag compared to traditional treatment. One is $400 and just medication management alone would have been somewhere upwards of $3,000. Can you say the maggot therapy helped save his foot? Absolutely. This is not quite three months after surgery. Skin graft is healed well and minus the fifth toe, you look like you've done well. Now I can get back out here and mess with the calves run my tractors and work. Yeah, it's it's been a great thing. I, you know, I'm grateful for it. So is the rest of the family farm. Yeah, so. that is pretty cool, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Randy is the first patient to use bio bags in Fort Bend County. Dr. Desai thinks this could revolutionize wound treatment, which costs $15 billion a year in the United States, and it is a problem likely to grow with the rise in diabetes. All right, Sherman, so I think a lot of people are curious to know, does the patient feel anything with all those little creepy crawly maggots? You would think so, but Randy says, no, you couldn't feel a thing. It's just like putting a bandage on your foot. Wow. And he lives yeah. with this for what, four days? Yep. All right, so if, if he had to have his foot amputated, how long would that recovery take? The doctor says anywhere from 18 to 24 months with additional surgeries, of course, a prosthesis and more physical therapy. So not just the cost, but the time, the inconvenience and the impact to his lifestyle.